Hey Vogue, it's me Camila and you're getting ready with me for the Met Gala. Cute. Uh, hey, Gian? Yeah? Do you have a speaker? Yeah. I think it's turn up vibes. Turn up. I am getting ready for my second Met Gala. I feel like I'm gonna be so confident and I feel so excited because I love my outfit. I'm already loving my hair and makeup and my nails. I'm excited about going with Prabal. I'm excited about everything that my outfit stands for. It's sustainable. That was really important to me this year. So I just feel really good and really like true to myself going this year. So I'm excited. Yeah. So much information in, in the Gilded Age though and what it means and how to like tie it back to fashion is a challenge to be honest. I'm not like an expert on the Gilded Age now by <laughs> any means, but my first thought was in learning more about the climate crisis and what every industry and every person can do to play their part. Just learning more about like slow and fast fashion and sustainability in fashion. And so that was really important to me this year. And I was also like, oh wow, that's like kind of the perfect contrast to like that message of the Gilded Age of economic and industrialization, like this big progress in that way. And now it's 2022. The climate crisis is the most like pressing issue right now. And how can we kind of use that innovation and ingenuity that was present during the Gilded Age and apply it to now while we're tackling the climate crisis. And obviously there are those cultural values of materialism and wanting to look good and express ourselves through fashion, but also how can we do that in a sustainable way? Also how it ties into Prabal's like who gets to be American. Yes. So this is where the flower part comes in. It's like the yeah. growth. The beauty, the and light. The, the colorfulness, the colorfulness. of Everybody. all the different cultures, exactly, that come to the table when immigrants come here. Correct. I'm really excited to go with Prabal because he's from Nepal. He's so proud of his heritage. And also, some of the dress was made in India. And Nepal. Yep. Yeah. Last year, I feel like, was a totally different look. It was a little bit more disco. And this year, we're going more kind of natural on the makeup, nat more natural on the eye. Um, more kind of like fresh faced. Right, Patrick Tom? Yes. <laughs> My hair also last year, it was like a lot of hair, which I loved, but this year is more kind of laid back. Right, Andrew? There's zero extensions for your hair. And I love that. And it's the vegetable dyed flowers that we're using to embellish that are the same ones that are in the dress. So, <gasps> the dress yeah. the hair. so you're kind of blooming. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love that. When Tom was telling me about his idea for the nails, I was so excited about it. If, tell us about it, Tom. Yeah, so just basically having fun with the nails since mm -hmm. we were keeping clean, but keeping with that whole floral design and that sense yeah. of hope and like you said, nature's fashion. Yeah. And just bringing that into the whole look, but keeping it avant-garde by having it monochromatic matte white. So it's representative of the entire look I without love that. being in your face. Since I've become more interested and inspired by fashion and gone on my own journey, I realized how much it really is a form of expression and can be used to communicate like what's important to you, what makes you feel strong, what makes you feel confident, what makes you feel grounded. And to me, having flowers everywhere makes me feel grounded. I think what I'm most looking forward to is literally wearing my outfit. <laughs> like, that's what I'm most excited about. Thanks for getting ready with me, Vogue. See you later. Off to the Met.